All right, let's do this. <coughs> this is going to probably be one of a series. Um, uh, you know, some thoughts about uh, Donald Trump. Give me a second. Well, that's a good three dollar and sixty five cent cigar. All right, so this, uh, come on, let, let's get real. There's really no sense uh, sugarcoating this or you know trying to uh, make it sound uh, less less bad than it is. So let's just. Hey, I'm uh, making a video. How's it going, guys? So uh, my my neighbor Greg just came by. Uh, okay, so look. Here's the deal with Donald Trump. Um, he's profoundly mentally disturbed. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to believe the hundreds. It's probably up to thousands by now. Uh, mental health professionals who have publicly stated in open letters, in their journals, in major newspapers that he's suffering from narcissistic personality disorder. Uh, don't believe them. Don't believe me. Just Google DSM-5. Look up the checklist for yourself. He gets a score of 100%. Okay, so the country has elected a profoundly mentally disturbed, hateful, lunatic demagogue. That's the premise that, that really it, it is undeniable. Um, but, so, so where do we go from here? Well, obviously, eventually, he's removed from office in disgrace. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, we, we have to survive. So... A couple of interesting things. When he was running in the primary, Republican primaries, an audio tape of him bragging about grabbing women's pussies without their consent. If anything, it increased his support. His, uh, his uh, fascistic uh, rhetoric about uh, immigrants, Hispanic immigrants, come on, let's, let's, let's be clear. His hateful rhetoric about Hispanic immigrants, uh, about people of color immigrants, about illegal immigrants, as if, uh, you know, uh, in Arizona and California, they're known as agricultural workers. Um, but, but for this lunatic and his uh, white racist lunatic fringe, 35 percent, um, uh, they're illegal, illegals, illegals. Anyhow, so... The fucking idiot, incredibly, wins the nomination. Republic, mainstream Republicans continue to oppose him. They're hoping he doesn't take down the party with him. Uh, Clinton you know, runs an incompetent enough campaign that, incredibly, she actually loses to him. Well, she wins the popular vote by almost 3 million, by an almost 3 million vote plurality. All the bullshit about the polls were wrong. The polls were absolutely exactly right. The last tracking polls conducted by mainstream polling agencies showed her winning the exact percent of the popular vote that she did and getting elected uh, by that popular vote, beating Trump by, I don't know, 2 3%, whatever. Of course, the founders, uh, to get the southern, uh, low-population southern slave states to sign on to the revolution, had to invent this electoral college bullshit which uh, you can Google it and figure it out for yourself, but it over-represents low-population redneck states, okay? That, that's what it does. That's how Republicans, uh, twice now, uh, W. Bush in 2000 and Reagan, uh, and Reagan and uh, Trump in 2016, twice now they've lost the popular vote and won the Electoral College. Uh, you know, if, you, if you're kind of into democracy, that's kind of a problem. So we got this lunatic. He gets elected. The minute he's elected, all the Republicans in Congress who actively opposed him, all of a sudden they've got a hard on. Oh, we can work with this guy. We can work with it. Why? Because their lust for power and their greed overwhelmed their patriotism and their correct judgment about what a lunatic Trump is. And so they got in bed with the devil. Well, that's fine. Reap the whirlwind, motherfuckers. Um, but all the things he did before the election. Then his outrageous, lunatic, red meat for the base inaugural address where presidents are supposed to bring the country together. 
Instead, he paints a dark dystopian America where the Negroes and the illegals are overrunning. There's crime in the streets. It's the end of the world, but I will save you. And his base, boy, they all ejaculated. The women all came. The men all ejaculated. But, of course, uh, the, the citizens watching were like, oh, my God, this guy's a fucking lunatic. And so if you check out the Gallup Daily Tracking Poll, Trump's support peaked at under 50 percent and plummeted. Now it's down to a core 35 percent. His opposition, which isn't like slight opposition, it's profound opposition, open resistance, 60 percent. OK, so the good news is the, 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 the lunatic ha- doesn't have a base of support that makes it possible for him to govern the country. That's the good news. The, the, the bad news is he and the Republicans don't know that his agenda is dead in the Senate. Repeal and replace. I think this is the third or fourth try. It's going to go down in flames next week. Uh, because there's no way they can sugarcoat that their plan is to kill poor people and to kill working poor people and to kill old people. That's their plan. That's their bold plan. That's the bold solution. Uh, the, the old bold solution was the, the federal government's going to explicitly do it. The new bold solution is we'll, we'll give grants to the states and then we'll let the red states kill poor people, working poor people, and old people, preferably Democratic voters. Okay, so, that, so his agenda is dead. He signs executive orders. The independent judiciary throws them out, blocks them. So he ain't going to do shit. But here's the cool thing. Everything he's done, all of the outrages, Antifa is the same as neo-Nazis and white nationalists. A little blip in his popularity. Um, DACA, a little blip in his popularity. Businesses losing their minds. What are you, what are you talking about throwing out the, the DACA uh, uh, kids uh they all went to college Uh, you know they're they're working as nurses as uh as uh professionals in 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 our businesses you throw them out of the country what we're gonna what we're gonna hire toothless redneck high school dropouts from the heartland to take their slots i don't think so okay same thing same same thing with the illegal immigrants every time he talks about deporting them every border state that has a lot of agriculture says whoa whoa wait a minute what are you talking about who's going to pick our tomatoes who's going to pick our strawberries uh, you know, are you going to pay four dollars for a tomato? Are, are you going to pay uh, ten dollars for for uh, six ounces of of, of uh, strawberries? Um, I don't think you are. And so, so he, he his agenda is dead in the water. But what's the thing that's going to now turn the tide and finally get his lunatic base to abandon him? What he attacked the NFL. He attacked the NFL. Really, he attacked the Negro NFL football players who dare to take a knee during the national anthem because of little stupid shit like cops are murdering uh, unarmed black men and black kids in the streets. You know, a little silly shit like that. And so today, owners came out denouncing Trump. Every team, all the players locked arms, took a knee, white, black, Chinaman. It doesn't matter. Hispanics. The idiot now, finally, his supporters, who already had had to go from hating Putin and Russia to loving Putin and Russia, because because Trump, you know, told the Russians to hack Hillary's emails and leak them. Then he actually colluded with the Russians, and so his supporters have to flip from hating the Russians to loving the Russians. But now he's asking them to hate the NFL, and, and you know those those toothless rednecks were like, what 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 did he say? But he say that uh, I got to hate the NFL. Those Negroes, I love those boys, man. Those boys can play football. I'm telling you, I ain't going to stop watching my football. He crazy. So so that's going to be the, the thing that's going to get the idiot undone. That's America. That's America. Okay. So I, I'm going to make some other videos, but I'm going to try to keep these under 10 minutes. Andrew Paul Scatino, Why Women Are So Problematic, a memoir and irreverent whimsical polemic. Check out my GoFundMe page. Uh, make a donation if you want me to, if you want to help me be able to finish the book and get it self-published, so you can buy it or get it for free if you donate fifty dollars. And um, Google my name: S C H E T T I N O. Peace out. My cigar went out. Oh well. <laughs>